Was former congressional candidate Dan Rodemeyer part of a cover-up to hide a murder? Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. Rodemeyer now the prime suspect. 8 News Now, the only local TV station there as he surrendered last night and the first to obtain the search warrant at the center of the case. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has new details on the alleged cover-up. Murder suspect Dan Rodimer already released from jail here. Disappointing for the victim's mother who drove here from Idaho hoping to face him in court. Vera was quite upset this morning. We would have liked to have had uh, him be arraigned this morning just so that we could, you know, see him face to face. But you know, it's the system, and we know that the system isn't perfect. If anyone knows the system isn't perfect, it's Christopher Tapp's loved ones. Attorney John Thomas says his mother isn't ready to speak publicly about the alleged murder of her son, but Thomas, now a family friend, here by her side in Las Vegas to make sure the family gets justice again. Tapp had been wrongfully convicted of murder and sexual assault in Idaho and spent two decades in prison. Thomas worked with the Innocence Project to fight for Tapp's freedom for years. In 2019, Tapp's conviction was vacated. It's a new life, a new beginning, a new world. But Tapp's life would be cut short after Las Vegas Metro Police say Dan Rodimer repeatedly punched him in a Resorts World suite last October. According to this arrest warrant first obtained by the 8 News Now investigators, Rodimer was upset Tapp offered his adult stepdaughter cocaine at a party. Thomas says Tapp wasn't a regular drug user. It was certainly outside of his wheelhouse of uh, you know, how he normally acted. He uh, was an advocate for prison reform. Less than a week after the alleged assault, Tapp died. Initially, medical staff was informed Tapp slipped and fell, but Thomas says loved ones knew something wasn't right and reached out to police. Do you think this criminal case would have happened without loved ones initially asking more questions? Yeah, I don't think it would have uh, it would have uh, uh, materialized because uh, without people asking more questions, it just seems like it may have been an accident. Police say they found text messages revealing Rodimer punched Tap, and even more damning from Rodimer's wife. "Quote: I watched you murder somebody. Like, let that sink in, you psychopath." End quote. On Wednesday evening, Rodimer turned himself in. His attorney declined our request for an interview. But when he ran for Congress in 2020, the 8 News Now investigators asked him about previous allegations of violence after his wife had called 911. Oh, yes, my wife and I got into an argument. She called the police. Thomas pointing out a priority for Tapp's mother is to make sure another person isn't wrongfully convicted the same way her son was. He says she stressed to police. She hopes they have the right guy. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. So Rodimer is scheduled to be in court in April. For more on the story, including a statement from his attorneys, you can go to 8newsnow.com.